My music journey hasn't really been easy, uh, as other people may look at it. I, I also have ups and downs. Um, so I've had my lows, I've had my ups, and uh, it's all good. You're supposed to go through all those things as a musician. So I don't complain. There are times when uh, people have uh, misunderstood you and you can't defend yourself. You can't explain, you can't manage to explain to anybody, everybody. So those are the worst moments when people are busy judging you like on social media. They are writing things that they don't know about you. They are judging you, they are insulting you. You feel bad, you cry behind closed doors. No one even tell that you, you are crying, but you feel bad about certain things. You can't change it. So what do you do? You just let it pass and say, anyway, let me keep my head up and move on. I am careful. The worst, the worst thing, the worst thing people say, or people that have said about me that have made me feel bad, are um, they are a lot. But um, I'll just try to point out some. Uh, there are people out there up to date that believe my music career has changed ever since BJ died. I don't like that statement. Uh, in the first place, one thing people should realize, uh, the first time people knew about Casey, when I made myself a name as Casey Go, I fought so hard, I worked so hard, I put in so much, and uh, most of the popular songs, especially the songs that have made me go to Europe and uh, elsewhere, were not written by PJ. Kanye Lele was not written by PJ. Ukazimia Foni was not written by PJ. Those songs were written by Kocha. He's still around. He's not dead. So I don't see a reason why people should say my music career has died with PJ. That's a very wrong statement. It makes me feel bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to prove it to people that I'm still here and I can still work hard. The next thing about K Figo, I know I've been, um, I'll be honest with my fans, I've been reluctant. Um, the way I've been pushing my music is totally different from the way I used to push when I just started. Because you know when I just started, I wanted to make a name, I wanted to end a spot in the industry, which I knew, I, I know I did, and I'm somewhere in the industry. So I became reluctant. I stopped pushing too much the way I'm supposed to push. Uh, but I can promise my fans, uh, people that are beginning to like me, that um, I'll bring back the old K figure who used to, to fight, who used to be vicious. It's a normal thing um, when you um, when you see new new artists doing a good thing. Obviously, you you feel challenged a bit, but would that make you hate them? No, you're not supposed to hate them. It will just make you go and do your homework, work extra hard to say, mm, before let me work hard. So being challenged is normal. Being part of ZAM, I think I'll be, I have the right now to, to be able to see who can be the right person to, to run it, to be the president. And uh, I can, as a member, I can now also try to advise, to say here, what about this and this and that. But if I'm not a member, there's no way I can do that. So I'm yet to, to see what's, what's, what's gonna happen, but I'm new, I'm a new member, so we'll see. Government maybe should, uh, Event a channel on DSTV for us because uh, DSTV has got a. Uh, uh, there are a lot of people that watch DSTV. So if they can rent a channel for us where everything Zambian, we can take our content, music and everything, that would be easy for us. A lot of people will be watching us from all over the world Nigeria, South Africa, they'll be able to see what Zambia is made of, what we can do, the talent that we have. I believe in us, we have talent in Zambia, but we are just lacking sponsorship. We are lacking money. 
So government, if government can put in money and rent a channel for us on DSTV, that would really mean a lot to us. The advice I can give to upcoming artists, producers, and uh, everyone who's trying to come in the industry, please, 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 please focus on your work. Don't enter the music industry to beef with someone, to have beef with someone, or because you want to be better than someone. Just work hard to make your work known. Let people see your work. Don't start up beef. Don't hate on people because they are doing better than you. Just be you. Work hard and uh, always, 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 always be good to people. Be faith. Shanky Sugar, um, Stash, Fredo, <laughs> TK, Jazzy Boy, um, Amos Kolei. There are a lot, there are a lot. I can just be going, 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 going. There are a lot, there are quite a lot. And please, if I've forgotten you, don't take it personal. Okay? <laughs> just know that you are good. I might mention you as an upcoming artist, yet you're not an upcoming artist. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. But there's uh, Trina South. I don't know if she's still an upcoming artist. I don't know how long she's been in the industry, but she's new. Trina, there's uh, Kendra Boo, uh, Pexy, there's uh, Black. Um, who else? Uh, Breezy Trey, there are quite a number of them, yeah, just to mention a few, but there are a lot. I might just forget because I'm human. <laughs>